Hey, I'm in the middle here of Baptisia or false indigo, a uh, very pea-like foliage. It's in the Fabaceae family, and so this big group, this big pea family, uh, and the foliage is very pea-like. Now, it looks like I'm just standing in this blob of green with these chartreuse things sticking up, but every one of these chartreuse uh, stocks was a bloom. This is a, a mid-summer, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, mid-spring bloomer for us, and a beautiful one. Uh, tall stocks that stand up on end, nice kind of soft blue foliage. Uh, this is a plant that when you see it, you're going to love it. Uh, now, depending on where you fall, if you want this to happen or not, this plant does seed itself quite a bit in the home landscape. Uh, this is a unique yellow cultivar. Most Baptisias are purple or pink. There are some bicolored Baptisias. There are even some ones that bloom brownish. Uh, but in a lot of cases, I'll come through here now and I'll prune off these blooms because I, I'm sorry, these bloom stalks and these seed heads because I don't want the Baptisia to seed all over the place. Uh, but if you do let it seed, exciting things can happen. If you've got several Baptisia, they're going to hybridize. You're going to have different colors emerge, maybe Baptisia that have never been seen before. Now this plant does like well-drained uh, soil. It really does thrive in that. But I would say a variety of landscape conditions uh, are good for this plant. Uh, I'll, we'll insert some pictures of this in bloom uh, because it is not really that spectacular right now because it is a spring blooming plant. Uh, so Baptisia, a lot of different species, uh, species mixed up in the modern cultivars. Uh, and so Baptisia, check it out. Baptisia or false indigo. Uh, this is a great plant for the home landscape. No, no real serious disease or insect problems. Hardy from zones three through nine, three to four foot high, three to four foot wide, erect herbaceous perennial. Uh, very nice, three leaflets with these blunt points at the end of them, blue green foliage. Can't miss it in the landscape. I really think that every garden has a place for a Baptisia. Here's a landscape tip. Consider for specimens, borders, and background plantings. Very easy to grow. Plant in full sun to avoid the need of staking. Consider for specimens, borders, and background plantings. Very easy to grow. Plant in full sun to avoid the need for staking. Sometimes if you plant them in shade, they do flop a little bit. So, uh, Baptisia, enjoy it.